that mean then God can help me. Amen. 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 I think that's what's going on today. People looking at everybody else. Mm -hmm. And we ain't helping ourselves. <laughs> if I keep looking at myself in a way that the world say I look like, then I'll stay there. Amen. But the world don't dictate your future. Amen. Jesus is your dictator. Amen. And today, we're going to talk to John 3, 16, but I'm going to do 15 and 16. And I ain't talking about love. My topic is, you're not going to perish. Thank you. You're not. We go through so many changes in life or things around us. Sometimes things are going on because God calls it to change. Amen. Amen. Stir, you know how the eagle stir the nest mm -hmm. to get the bird out the nest? Mm -hmm. Sometimes God disturbs your life to get you out of the nest. Amen. Amen. And, and in the midst of him stirring it, you ain't going to perish it because he stirred it. That means he got you. Amen. Amen. He done stirred my nest. And, then, and he told me, I, you ain't going to perish. Amen. But it don't feel good. Amen. Amen. But you got to trust him in the area that you going through. But he said, you ain't going to perish. Amen. And what it means by prayer is you ain't going to die. Amen. You're going to die out of the flesh and come alive in the spirit. Amen. But you ain't going to die. Amen. Because God holding you up in the area that he wants to get some things off of you so he can come in and begin to be a fullness of the glory of him inside of your life. Because, you know, I, I, I want to say that sometimes we we don't put our full potential out. And sometimes God has to stir you up to get the best out of you. Yes, he does. And they have to show you, you got something better, and we settle for less. Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. We always take the second best when he said, I'll give you the first best. Amen. Amen. My God. Thank you, Jesus. And I look at, over the life of my life, and I see something we have always lived the second best. Amen. I thank God the way I was raised, I, I really do. But I could have had a better life. Amen. And but I appreciate now today that what was taught to me and what I saw and what we went through, praise God. I thank God that where I am now. Mm -hmm. When we didn't even have food, see I want to show we yep, didn't perish. How God gave us wisdom when we used to take water and put in bread <laughs> and make corn. Water and cornbread with a little sugar. Yeah. I, didn't Amen. I want you to look. Sometimes you have to look Amen. over your life and right. see where you came so from. To see how God has brought you from, from A Z. to Z. Amen. But in the midst of that, it didn't, I didn't perish. I didn't come out built. I didn't come out great my life where I was growing up. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes we regret when we come through something. Because if God wants to pour out on you a true blessing, if you don't get those act or whatever, it'll overtake you. Amen. So today I want to show you what he ready to show you to get your life and your mind in a place. That when he pull out what he wants to give you, it won't rule you, you'll rule it. All right now, thank you. Amen. Because when people get money or whatever, cause or whatever, they change. Amen. Amen. God ready to purify you in a way so wherever you get, it won't change. Amen. 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 So I'm going to start at verse 15 and 16. You're not going to perish. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. All right, stop right there. That you are a whosoever. You got the whosoever is got to be a what? A believer. Amen. You don't look at your problem. You look at the problem solver. Thank you, Jesus. 
in your problem is and you ain't going to perish in Amen. Amen. That means he's saying you ain't going to die in Because you are a whosoever. You are whosoever. So he's going to take care of what is his. So what we're doing is we ain't trusting that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. If you are a believer, then he got you. Amen. You ain't going to perish. You ain't going to drown. You just got to go on. Through. You know, praise God. Sometimes we go halfway with something. Mm -hmm. You see people just go halfway. Right. They go so far, and then when things get on so precious, so on them, then we begin to get frustrated, mm -hmm. get discouraged, and get to feeling sorry for ourselves. What we do? We turn around. We are lead the presence of God. Amen. 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 That's right. Instead of staying in the presence, we get out of the presence. That's what happened to the children of Israel. Yes, they got out of the presence of God. They begin to serve what? Out of God. And we find ourselves serving out of God. So that's what caused us to perish is go out of God. Amen. Don't make it sense. He said, whosoever shall be whole, my God, believe in him, shall not perish, but what have what left? Yeah. But have ever, but have eternal life. You have eternal life. That means you have the Messiah with you in the past of you going through. Yeah. Jesus, oh my God. Jesus paid the price that you will have eternal life through him. That means his presence, which is the Holy Ghost, is going to lead and guide you out of all things. What has happened, we are not listening to the Spirit. We are listening more to our flesh. Yes, Lord. Our flesh tells us we ain't going to make it. Amen. Our flesh tells us you have our Tell it. Amen. You going down, if you going down, you going back up. Amen. Amen. I think if I don't, I fall down, but I get back up. Amen. Sometimes you have to get up. People stay down instead of getting up. Amen. 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 Praise God. Oh, my God, my God. Oh. He said it twice in 16 verse. For God so loved the world. He so loved you. He so loved you, so loved you, is a place now we don't love ourselves. Amen. He so loved you. I thank God for the love of God. That he loved me with my weakness, my down, my ups, and, and my faults. He still loved me. That he gave his only begotten son. He gave who? His only he gave son. his own. He gave something that he loved so much. And so he, oh my God, he sold himself out for 30 pieces of silver. Mm -hmm. And he brought value in that. <laughs> he loved you so much that he, my God, he loaned himself. Mm -hmm. He came down in all the <laughs> heavenly to the earth right, and took on natural flesh. So he can know who you are, what you are, and what you're going through. He took on your fit. He took on your emotion. He took on your disappointment. He took it. So he can show you, now I done went back, I killed all of that. So you got a freedom now that you will not perish. Yes, Lord, thank you. Now I want you to take on me. Is that making sense? Amen. All right, I'm sure. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. See, he said eternal life and everlasting life. So he giving you the benefit that you can prosper in him. Uh, that whosoever believeth in him, mm, and I like that, not, you not, you shall not. Yes. You're not going to perish. Amen. If you can get that in your spirit, you're not going to perish. But have everlasting life. And today, Bible, did, did, did I see, what life are you choosing? Amen. 
Are you choosing life or defeat? And what the world said, don't you gonna be defeated? But he said you ain't gonna perish. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you. We gotta stop believing that we going down. We going up. Thank Amen. You. Victory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God that it is. I think about gold. Gold is nasty. But when it put it in the water, it go down. And when it hit the water, Amen. it Thank come you. back up here. Amen. Come on, y'all. But it had to get the filth off of it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, I want y'all to see something. See, God trying to kill y'all down in the Holy Ghost. All right. Amen. So you can come back up here. Amen. But you can't receive the Holy Ghost without going down. Right. Mm. Some of us want to stand up, but you can't receive because he is the director. He is the guide. He is the way out. But we stand and try to what? Stand up. <laughs> But you got to go down. It's time for us to go down. It ain't about, my God. Pride is a kill. Yes, yes, it, it is. is. And you know what? I'm preaching. I found out, Tiffany, I had some pride. Some pride in the See, Some of y'all don't even get that. Amen. 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 And God will show you where your pride is that you need to go Mm. Down. Thank Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. you need to go down. down. Ooh, my God. It's time to go down. down. Surrender. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. When I mean by going down, it's time for you to surrender to God. All right Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Ooh, God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, she done shed the Bible. All right. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jesus. But I thank God for it. Because I had to go through. I got to go down some more. Oh, God, thank you. I want you to look over there at John 3. I want you to go to 35. We still in? Uh, I mean, 25 to 36. Stay in John 3. Now, look where you're going to tell them. Go to verse 25. Stay in John 3. Just go to 20, verse 25. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. Uh -huh. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizing, and all men come to him. Mm -hmm. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Stop right there. They were asking questions why they was coming, men was coming to Jesus so much and they wouldn't come to John, but he said, John gave an answer. He said, John answered and said, a man can't receive nothing itself. You can't do nothing except the Father. That's right. So you can't give God nothing itself. It be given from heaven. See, the Father has to give what? The A-O-K. And first thing, you got to receive what he okay to. Amen. Sometimes we get to pray for something. Mm -hmm. We don't like what he going to say. Right, yeah. We don't like what we have to go through to get it. Amen. I didn't realize I got to go through this what I'm going through to get where I'm going. Amen. It don't feel good, my brother. But I receive the embracing that I got to go through to get to. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, I'm asking God for, amen, I mean, I got to go through. And my tells me, it don't feel good. No, ma'am. Thank you, Lord. No, ma'am. So I got to receive first the going through. Thank you. It's hard to receive something you're going through. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. But that's what John said. You can't receive nothing except it be given from heaven. So whatever the Father gives a son to do to you, he going to do it. Amen. Amen. Come on. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He tell I was sent before Christ. He was paying the way for Jesus, but he said, I ain't the one. Now look what we got to receive. He that had the bride is the bridegroom. Who is, who got the, you the bride, you got the bridegroom. If God gave me a revelation about bridegroom, he divided, all right. You, he is, you are the bride. He's the groom. So, he's grooming you. <laughs> the bridegroom. He grooming you for him. You know when you want a style, that style is had to, is I'm telling you, right. you had to clip it, wash it, get it sick. See, that's what he's doing. He grooming you. When you were a cousin, he had to, Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. He's clipping it. He's pruning it off. If you like drugs, he got to cut them off. He's grooming you. And Lord show me, he's the groomer. <laughs> to get you in the style that he wants. The style of the Holy Ghost. Of him. He wants you to look so much like him, like he looks so much like you. Mm. We can't tell the saint from the sin. Tell it. Amen. 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 So he ready to groom you. So, come on, Liz. He that had the bride is the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, Rejoice it greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. See, look what John said. We ain't joyful. The voice that he's speaking, it don't, it don't sound good. The voice that he's speaking, it ain't good to me. Thank you, Lord. But that's the voice that he spoke. So something on me that I hear the voice is got to fall off of me. The voice. I don't hear what you want to be speaking. That's the voice. And he gonna see, he said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if my joy is not fulfilling me, I'm not getting strong in that area. The joy, if I'm joyful over what I'm going through, rejoicing, not being weak and sad and sorry, mumming and grumbling, then I'm getting strong in that area. So when it's time for me to go where he want me to go, I won't be easy shaking. Yes, Lord. The saints of God is so easy to be shaken. It's time to stop shaking and take a stand. Amen. Amen. Oh my God. I got the stand. And that all, he said, stand. But we're not standing. Alright, ladies. Come on. Amen. He must increase. So he must what? Increase. But I must decrease. So he trying to what? Increase. And you need to decrease. How much you done decrease? <laughs> uh oh, I messed up. Uh -oh. How much? <laughs> How much you done decrease that the point that when somebody make you mad, you don't go to cuss? <laughs> Thank you. How about you don't decrease that stuff start having you go get you a bottle of liquor and drink oh, out of coffee? Amen. Come on, come on, y'all. Let's Sometimes we need to decrease that he might increase. A hundred percent of Holy Ghost we need. Amen. My God. So he ready to increase. Only way he can increase that we got to allow him to have his way. How much is he having? Amen. He's not having none. Amen. He ain't having none in the body of Christ. Thank John you. told us that I must. He didn't say I got to. I must. It's a must to 
today. Amen. It's about the day you got to come out of you and get in here. It ain't no more. I, I don't know. No, it ain't about you know. You got to. Amen. It's a must, y'all. Come on, it's a must. Y'all can't keep playing around here. Because he's looking around, y'all praying for a change and a place to go. He said, it's a must now. You ain't gonna sit up in the house of God and like you got it all together and the monkey is flying around your head. Come on now. It's a must. You gotta stop playing games with Jesus. He said, I must decrease that he may increase. He ready to increase in your life. And when he want to increase, he's gonna cut some stuff off. Yes, he will. <laughs> Boy, he done cut some stuff. All right, Jesus. Amen. I said sometimes just like this. I must. I must do this. All right, come on. He that cometh from above is above all. He said he that cometh from above is above who? All. Well, why he ain't all of us? Mm. Why? Look what he said. He that is of the earth is earthly. He's showing us that above is more, more greater than that of earthly. Amen. Think about how you function. Mm. Right. Are you functioning more heavenly or earthly? Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, right. Come on, y'all. Look at yourself. Look, look. Look at you functioning in the flesh more than you are the spirit. Amen. It's a difference. Yes, right. You got to function in the spirit more than your flesh. Can we function more in the flesh? That's why the afflictions of the enemy can take more control of our body that he can make us perish. Mm. But if you got a heavenly thought, you ain't going to perish. Ooh, my God. <clears throat> And speak it of the earth. We talk more what? We talk more earthly. That's why you don't know. I can't identify a saint when they talk more earthly than it is heavenly. Your truth got some worms in it. The way he said, he that what? He that cometh from heaven is above all. So we need to identify. We need to identify who we serve. Mm -hmm. Are we going to serve the earthly? Mm -hmm. Are we going to serve the heavenly? Mm -hmm. I don't find out something. We serve more earthly than we do heavenly. That's true. Mm -hmm. So if it's more earthly, then it's going to stay weak. I'm more, I'm more open to be attacked by the enemy because the earthly realm, which is my flesh, caused my spirit to what? Have no control. Amen. Who is to control? The heavenly or the earth? It's supposed to be the heavenly. Because he created the heaven and the earth. Jesus controlled both of them. But we are, we don't allow to control. We don't live first gear we ride in second gear. <laughs> we need to get back to the first gear. Amen. Amen. I don't know how I drive. I see them stink. They do. You yeah, like what time? You know what time? You come on. We stuck on second gear. Come on, too soon. And what he had seen and heard, that he testified. And no man received his testimony. No man received Jesus. I go to church. I'm here every Sunday. I go to Bible study. I'm praying. But I yet ain't so. Amen. 
See, people go and try the days old out. Right. I ain't living the test of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I ain't living the fullness of it. Mm -hmm. My God. Be guilty. Mm -hmm. I can't throw no rock at you. That's why I just say it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I've been in a place I was in the he said. He that hath received his testimony has set to his seal that God is true. So, look here. I thank God for the seal. He that hath received his testimony has set to his seal that God is true. See, when you truly believe what the word of God said, the way you do. His seal. Mm. Come on, man. The enemy can't break the seal. seal. Jesus. 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 Mm. He done sealed that. Amen. What he purposed or whatever you going through, although you going through, but the enemy can't break your seal. seal. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody can break the seal is you. How many times I done broke my seal and he and Holy Ghost had the minute right back? Tell it. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Jesus. That's why you can't blame nobody else because you the one breaking the seal. If God tell you don't do something, don't do it. Why are you going to sit up here and keep breaking your seal to please somebody else? Come on. Yeah. If a person don't want to cross the wall with you, you need to get the hell out. Way, God, Amen. Right. Come on, Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Real quick. <laughs> we started trying to hope that they'll come on with you. Right. Oh. And you started breaking your own seal. Mm. Come on. Oh, glory to God. Mm. Mm. Sometimes we grab some kind of seal and it ain't your seal. Oh, that's right. Amen. So if I, I got the wrong seal, I'm going to perish. Thank God. He loved me so much, he ain't going to let me drive. He said, all right, Sarah. That's the wrong seal. Thank you. It's amazing. When God tells you something, we hate to receive that. And we ask him. That's right. Right. Come on. And he said, no, no, no. And you, how we do <laughs> Roll our eyes, Roll our eyes and, and go to look at mm -hmm. that ain't what I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. It's sealed. Mm -hmm. My God, God done sealed this thing mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Look what he said. For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the spirit by measure unto him. He, so Jesus ain't got it measured. Mm. He got all power, all yes, authority. Right, yes. He ain't got magic up. Mm -mm. He ain't got the magic up to nothing because he got thought to heal mm -hmm. and heal. Amen. He controls it all. Yes, he mm -hmm. does. So if he controls it all, that means I ain't going to perish. He in the control of it. Yes, it and it ain't magic to him. Mm -hmm. See, it comes to magic our faith. <coughs> right. and, but he got so much faith, he ain't got magic to death. He know how to make a cake and die and sugar too. Because right. he's the sugar. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He ain't got that vanilla flavor too, because he's the flavor. All right. Amen. All right. 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 He ain't got to add the egg too, because yes. he said, My yoke is easy, my burden. Come on, now. Yeah. There it is. All right. He came in. The baby came. Mm. He ain't got to do none of that. He know how to make his face. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all passing off of that. Amen. He know how to make that cake look good. Yes, he does. You the, my God, he know how, my God, you the flower. He know how to put the self in. Yes, he does. The self rise and then you make it rise. That's it, that's it. It look plain, but it a rise. That's right. Come on. He's the resurrection. Yes, that's right. Come on, come on, Pastor. I'm making a cake with y'all. Y'all, he's gone. Mm. 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 When that cake done, how are you doing? Amen. He's the, hallelujah, you put that favorite butter in it. He's the butter. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. 
He tastes it. He say you mm, good. All right. All right. Come on. The Father loveth the Son. He loved him. And he hath given all things into his hand. Okay, you see, he said he done gave him all things. Say he no men. He don't have no men, no limit in God. Then he said the Father loved the Son, and he had given him all. He didn't say no thing. He got an edge to it. He done gave all things to into who in his hand. So if he done gave all things into Jesus' hand, don't you know Jesus' hand this way? Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. And he's holding you in the palm of his hand. Amen. Amen. See, we yeah. started trying to hold mm -hmm. his hand. Mm -hmm. But when stuff started happening, mm -hmm. Joe said, I do like this. Let mm -hmm. it go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. We turn his hand a little. But he ain't turn his hand from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you ain't holding his hand, he's still holding your hand. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Ooh, you, Lord. Ooh, Shonda, I see verse 36 where I want to get to. I got there to get here. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And see, he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. So Jesus came to give life and life more abundant. So his life would never run out. Right. I think about the bunny, the berry. Mm -hmm. Tell them the everlasting berry. They tell me on TV and that bunny. Get it, mm. <laughs> Amen. Jesus just like this. He's steady moving. Wow. He's steady moving when you sleep. Yeah. He's steady moving. Yeah. He's steady moving. Yeah. moving. He's steady moving. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He said, I give you everlasting life. Why are we short changing out? Mm -hmm. It's how we look at life. Woo, I thank my God. We even short change ourselves with relationships. Well, Mom. Woo, my God. Our everlasting life. My God. Thank you. What has he said? And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. So you don't believe it, you ain't going to see it. That's right. Thank you, thank you. Well, I should have been here a long time ago. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Jesus. I ain't got it now. Mm. My ladder, mm. my beginning, mm. where I should have been. Come on. I short changed my. So, mm. See, we, we wonder why we short changing ourselves. When you know better, you're going to do better. Sometimes we know better and we still ain't doing better. What you did? Shout change yourself. We take less. Yes, my God, the enemy, you lonely. So when you're lonely, you take less. Amen. How about she? You get desperate with them. You know how about the idea? You know that helper and that nugget head ain't where he should be. Amen. Right. Right. Come on, Father. You're right. Come on. True. Come on. True. I won't do it like that. Okay. True. We take less. Amen. When God said, I got that. Right. Amen. That's it. I'll be soon 63 years old. Good. In a couple months. Amen. My life when I told you I was eating water and bread. Uh -huh. See, that was my beginning. Amen. Because that's the plan my daddy put that in front of us. That's right, that's right. Now, I, I'm, I'm trying to show y'all something. Come on. So I end up with the less. Yeah. Uh -huh. What I saw around me, Amen. that's what I saw. Uh -huh. So I felt within myself, if mama could put up with it, I, I, I can put up with it. Wow. Uh -huh. so, Sometimes we put up with something. <laughs> It ain't for you. Right, man. That was their generation. Right. Right. Jesus paid the price that I have a better generation. Right. 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 So if I don't change my mindset, that's right. Right. I must that's change. That's it right there. So I can right. 
Get what I'm supposed to get in my latter end. Right. He said, I share greater things in my latter I miss That's my beginning. Right. Uh -huh. But I ain't going to miss my latter. Right. Right. I ain't going to perish in my latter because I know I ain't going to perish. Right. I'm going through something, but I ain't going to perish. Amen. 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 I ain't going to perish. Amen. Come Amen. on, y'all. I hope I'm making sense. Amen. See, but if I stay in condition mm -hmm. towards him, I must. I ain't going to perish. Mm -hmm. Amen. But look what he said. Then if I don't believe not, what's going to happen to me? But the wrath of God abided it on him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. The wrath. Mm -hmm. Now, I ain't going to make it the wrath of God abide on me. Right. When I know to do better, right. I've got to do better. That's right. The wrath of God. When God puts something on you, mm -hmm. it's holy. Yes, yes. Mm. So he tried to get us in the position that his glory had come in before his wrath. Just think about how many things he's showing us now. Mm. That's his wrath. Those is out of his will and won't come back into the will. His wrath is coming up on them. So what you got hit, he said, I'm going to show it up. That's his wrath. If you're not teaching it like I told you to teach it, Cause it's rare. Right. Right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're not going to perish. Tell the John 6, 40 to 48. Look what he said. My God, I think. And this is the will of him. That sent me. That's what Jesus said. This is the will of him that sent me. This is the Father's will. Mm -hmm. So he fulfilling his Father's will. will. So we got to get ready to fulfill Jesus' will. will. All right, come on. That everyone which seeth the Son. Everyone that see who? The, the Son. Son. You got to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't see it. See him through the spirit. That's right. But you in the flesh, you can't see him. So you need to transform yourself more your mind spiritual. Amen. Not so much of the flesh. Right. Amen. 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 All right, look what he said. And believe it on him. And no, I ain't believing that. No. And believe it on him. May have everlasting life. That you may have everlasting life. You may have. Thank Didn't you. I say about well, he's my shepherd? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you may have everlasting life. Mm -hmm. So right that is your relationship between you and mm -hmm. him. It's just like Jesus said. Keep your eyes on. Yeah, here. Amen. Don't look over there what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. What did I say? Mm -hmm. It's just like Jesus said, keep your eyes on it. That's right. He saw the part, he said, keep your eyes on me. Yeah. Keep your eyes on me. Mm -hmm. Don't look over there. Don't look, don't look at me. Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> He's still looking at me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Push it away out of your Keep your eyes on me. Yeah. It's just like now he's looking dead in your eyes. Yes, he is. Yes. The yes. eyes to the soul, he looking. Yes, Lord. Jeez. Hallelujah. That you may have everlasting life. And what he said? And I will raise him up at the last day. I will. Who going to raise you up? Jesus. So you need to start trying to do it on your Amen. He said, seek me, and you shall find me. Knock, and it shall be open. He said, I'll direct your path. He said, you will? You will. I will raise him. In these what days? Last days. Amen. In the last day. We are in the last day. Amen. We are in evil time. Mm -hmm. We are in the time now that things are desperate. Mm -hmm. People are in a desperate mind. They're doing things that they shouldn't be doing. Ooh. Taking lives. Yes. And if they ain't taking lives, they're stealing. They're killing. They're doing anything mm -hmm. to yeah, su their own survival. Yeah. That's yeah. not God's survival. Tell them. Amen. Amen. He said in the last day, look what else he said. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, 
I am the bread which came down from heaven. He tell you who he is. I am the bread that come down from heaven. Mm -hmm. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, mm -hmm. whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from now, heaven? Now they were so caught up in themselves and the law, they couldn't even see him. Now think about you. We so caught up in the laws of ourselves, we can't even see it. Mm -hmm. Wow, come on. Thing we going through, we can't see that he done stirred our nest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They can't see it. Mm -hmm. The day people don't see mm -hmm. it. Now look what he said, and what Jesus said. How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which hath sent me draw him. I like that. No man can come to, to the Father. Let the Father deal with him. Mm -hmm. Jesus ain't taking nobody that don't want to be taken. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's true. If you want to carry your burden, mm -hmm. carry it. You want to, you want to perish? Yeah. Perish. I like that. But we care people that don't even tell it. We care people that don't want to be cared. Mm -hmm. Come on. And time some hit them, then they want you to care. Right. That's right. Yeah. Time yeah. to get light, they get back into what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. He said the father, he can't deal with them. Let the father draw them. And look what he said. And I will raise him up at the last day. If the father deal with him, then I'll take over and I'll raise him up. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God. My, I hear the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I heard the Holy Ghost say this. If the father draw them mm -hmm. to him, then he be the forerunner. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. This is what he's saying. I'm in front of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm running for you. Every time you hear the bump, I'm there to shield you. Wow. Put on the whole armor, God, that you can withstand in the evil day. So he said, put me on. Put my word on me. Speak my word. I am the word. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through me. I'm living the word. I am the living word. So my word will not perish. My word won't even fall to the ground. How about she can let it say? When he fell to the ground, when he was carrying the cross, he got right back up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. Glory to God. Come on, man. And I will raise him up at the last day. Mm -hmm. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of God. He, every man, therefore, that hath heard and have learned of the Father cometh unto me. You first got to learn the Father before you learn the Son. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Some mm. of us don't mm. know the Father. All so right. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's like we can't know Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. And you be around people sometimes, and they they be talking to you, and they say, Are you king and such, such, such? And then you say, Yeah, that's my daughter. They thought they know me, mm -hmm. but they didn't know me because they didn't know my daughter. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? Amen. Some folks are talking God but don't know God. They don't. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't know the Son. Amen. They just talk to God but they don't know God. Wow. <laughs> All right, come on. All to see. Thank you. <laughs> Not that any man hath seen the Father. Ain't no man seen the Father. Say he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. When you're looking at the Son, you're looking at the Father. That's right. Amen. 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 No man seen the Father. Mm -hmm. But when you look at Jesus, you're looking at the Father. That's right. So the Father and Jesus are one. Amen. When you look at me, you're looking at Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So me and Jesus is one. And that's the type of relationship Jesus wants with you. You and him be as one. So when I look at you, I'm going to see Jesus. I ain't going to look at you Amen. in the flesh. I don't see flesh. I see Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on. The same relationship that Jesus and the Father had, that's what he wants with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And that's why Jesus couldn't perish because the Father had him up in his hand. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going to perish because Jesus got you up in his hand. Mm -hmm. Every time they touch you, they touching Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. He said, verily, verily, I say unto who? Mm -hmm. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I die. I've got everlasting life. You shall live. Amen. Now, look what he tell you again. I am that bread of life. I like that. I am that. I am that. I am that. So he telling you, ain't no other connector you can connect to but to me. Hey, you ever see folks chip? Now these kids. Kids are work against the mom and dad. When the mama said no, they'll go around mom and go to dad. And only way daddy and mama don't communicate the child to get away with it. Yep. <laughs> but Jesus and the Father communicate. Mm -hmm. So you can't get away with nothing. No. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Come on. So neither you, you, if you go to the Father, he said, uh-uh, you going back, baby. <laughs> you going back to the Son. Then when you go to the Son, the son will come to me and tell me about you. Then I would give the son the commandment to what to do with you. Amen. So stop talk to God and talk to the son. I am that bread of life. I like that. Okay, come on. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. They had all that manna in the wilderness and they're dead. Y'all eat all this old negative stuff. Y'all just that dead as a dog. No. <laughs> dead walking alive. Mm -hmm. I'm alive. Huh? <laughs> no, you ain't. You are dead. <laughs> Come on. I am the living bread. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Why y'all eating all this stale stuff? Mm. Come on. Oh, Lord. Come on. Mm -hmm. I, I hate to ask you, how, many, how, how much did you read your word? Your word. Right. All right. Do you read it once a week? Do you read it every day? Mm. Yeah, I got quiet on that. Y'all must not read it also, because it's not y'all be, hey, I'm a reader! <laughs> <laughs> so that means you are not read the bread of life. So the spirit man is starving. Amen. You, I'm hungry. The spirit man, I, I want you to need some work. Let me go in there and get me. I'm going to church of chicken and get me a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think the natural man, but it's really the spirit man, home man. I won't eat, but I ain't eating no words. So the spirit man is not in a position to fight the battle for you. So you are uh, what you perish. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. I hope I ain't losing y'all. Y'all stay with me now. Amen. Stay with me. You get sleepy, pinch yourself. <laughs> okay, come on, lady. 